Oh, Call of Duty. Uh, talking about, I thought we just meant. Anyway, you know the swatter guy that swatted someone and the guy got shot by the cops? Died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he was just sentenced to 20 to 25 years in prison. Good. Yeah, so oh, as a yeah. quick recap, for people who don't know this story, two people were arguing online, right? One of them's name was Swatistic, Swatistic, something close to that. And uh, the person that Swatistic was arguing with said, like, I think, come fight me, something like that. And he gave him a fake address. So then there's another person having nothing to do with any of this, probably not even a gamer. The police come to his house. He's like, what's all the ruckus out here? And the cops shot him. That guy that died, nothing to do with any of this. He's just the fake address that the person gave to Swatistic. Turns out Swatistic had swatted dozens of times. Like he was a, like an all, sometimes a couple times a day. He swatted the FBI. Uh, no, the FCC. The FCC, they got rid of net neutrality or whatever. So he's calling up the police, getting the SWAT team over to the FCC because you know he's going to make a difference or something. Uh, now he's in jail. He was a serial swatter. He was. Well, his name, I, I just imagine this in court. Your Honor, why don't you have the defendant tell you what his online his username is? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Michaels, please stand up first, please. Uh, what, what was your online u- username? Swatistic. Uh, yes. could, you speak up, could you speak up, please? Swatistic? <laughs> Swatistic, the swatting swatterson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> I think there was a recording of him either bragging about it or doing it or something like that. So he was just dead to nuts. It's on. not funny. It's not funny. It's not a joke. It's you're sending deadly force. Funny. It look send somebody a pizza that's unpaid for. It's annoying as fuck to them, and you've wasted that poor pizza man delivery pizza man's time. And if you it, and money and, and you know and the money, right? Because those guys have to pay for their own fuel and stuff like that. It's it's pretty it's pretty crappy. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the night, the pizza guy gets to eat the pizza. And nobody's he's dying. And nobody's dying, right? But you send a fucking SWAT team, like like A, SWAT team could kill the guy. But what if there's someone else who needs that SWAT team that night? What if there's an actual hostage crisis somewhere that's not getting handled because you sent the Apex SWAT team over to Mr. Woody's house or whatever? Meanwhile, there's a there, there's some evil mustache twiddling evildoer somewhere with a bunch of like doctors tied up in a bank vault or something like that. <laughs> Uh, that's There's a, that's probably a, a bunch bizarre of people scenario. On, like, SWAT teams now who they know this is so prolific that like their mindset has almost changed when responding to calls that they don't think are truly serious, you know? Like they may go, "Oh, you know, out, you know it's out in this suburb, nothing bad happens there ever. Some asshole sending us to a streamer's house." And then they show up and someone actually is murdering their family. Like I hope it's part of the training now, right? So when I was swatted, swatting was new. Right? I wasn't the first person ever swatted, but I was towards the leading edge of that. You were in the vanguard. I, yeah, I was really quite the big deal. Anyway, uh, I didn't even figure out that it was swatting until like my family and I were outside sitting on the curb. It was like, I know what happened. I've heard of this before. And uh, the police hadn't. When I explained to them that I was like an online personality and that you know, this is a thing that happens, especially in the gaming space, they're like, what? Like, that, like it's just a hoax prank and and uh it took them a little bit to realize that i wasn't behind it you know they're like you do this like no 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 (laughs) this happens to people like me very different thing and now i just hope that these swat teams are allowing for the possibility that it's all a prank i don't know i i bet they aren't you know i I wish there were some kind of a an advocacy group, or that, that's not the right, the right term. I wish there was someone who was like getting the word out because they have these big international meetups of SWAT teams in Florida. I've been to them. Mm. And you go and it's like all the best SWAT teams from everywhere. Like Brazil sends a SWAT team, but all the, the states and cities send them. And there's dozens of these. They've yeah, all that's got in the Reno 911 movie. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, where they oh. go there. Yeah, I've been there. Angles. I've been there and seen them compete and everything. And like, like, like it's the SWAT, like, convention basically they're do they're they're competing live while you watch them like like amongst all of the swat gear that's also being sold like to civilians and everyone alike you know someone needs to be down there with a booth that said that that's like raising awareness you know like like explaining what swatting is i'd like to do that i've got it in my head like uh i did a um vidcon i had a i did a panel at vidcon before it's like i'd like to do a panel at 
SWAT Central or whatever they call themselves. The SWAT Roundup. The SWAT Let's Roundup. Go. All right. They're SWAT. That can be the title on your booth. Am I the kind of man who would murder my family? Question mark. <laughs> right? I'll be curious. I, they should They'll call themselves the like SWATastica. Right. It's just close enough. But to fantastic, <laughs> fantastic and swatastica. No, just me. Okay. Sounds a lot like swastika to me. Ah, <laughs> random coincidence. You know what? It's time to take it back <laughs> <laughs> for yeah. the poor guy in 1936. Well, I'd love to do a got panel. What he thought was a cool Buddhist tattoo. That's who we I take was, it 